Hi, this is Rob Wagoner with Microsoft. Thanks for joining me again. Today I want to just quickly walk through how you set up Virtual Machine Manager in System Center 2012 to connect to an ESX server. As you can see, I've already connected to my three Hyper-V hosts. And now what I'm going to do is show you the differences in the 2012 version of Virtual Machine Manager. To set up access to a vCenter server, we go over to the Fabric session. And under vCenter servers, we add our vCenter server. So our server name. And then in 2012, we can define our run as accounts. And I really like this because we set them up once and then we just reference them. So I'm connecting to the vCenter server, which is actually a virtual machine running in my domain. So my normal admin account is the one we can use here to connect to it. By default, it says it wants to communicate in secure mode. And so I'll go ahead and say OK, and it'll kick off that job. And as you can see, adding that host didn't take long. Now we can move back over here and see the vCenter server is responding. Move back over to our VMs and services. And as you can see, ESX hasn't shown up yet. My vCenter server actually happens to be a virtual machine that's running on my Hyper-V host. But at this point, I've added vCenter. Now I go in and I add my ESX hosts and clusters here. Take note that in 2012, we can also manage Zen servers as well. But I'll go to the VMware server. Again, define my run as account. Identify my target resources, which will be my one ESX host. Host settings. Where do I want this host to show up? I'm going to leave it under all hosts for now, but you could create separate groups if you wanted. Go ahead and click finish here. And this job again runs, doesn't take long, and it gets the ESX host added to my list of virtualization providers. Now when I move back over to my main screen and enumerate all hosts, you'll see ESX1 shows up, but it takes a minute for the virtual machines to show up on the ESX host as well. So it took a couple minutes, but now it gives us the ability to manage all of our virtualization hosts all from this single pane of glass again. I hope this has been helpful, and I hope to talk to you soon. Thank you, and have a good day.